on cars with um, with drive belts, which is uh, practically every vehicle except for hybrids and electrics. Um, the engine, in this case, you can see you can see the uh, the crank pulley uses uh, flexible belts to drive other components. So in, the, in this case, um, this belt here is running the, the alternator or generator and the power steering pump. And uh, this one is running only the, uh, the air conditioning compressor. Um, the belts don't last forever and they do stretch over time. And a, a common issue, especially if it's wet or if it's humid, um, is squealing belts. Uh, but it's not only caused by wetness, it's really caused by uh, two things. Uh, anything that can reduce friction um, in between the, between the belt and the pulley. Um, and it, that could be anything like uh, rain. If you run through a big puddle and it splashes up underneath, um, belt could get wet. Uh, another one would be uh, if you have any kind of fluid leaks like um, power steering or in some cases you've got um, very close in behind the um, the balancer pulley um, there's the front main oil seal um, if that drips onto the belt then it's not going to uh, it's not going to drive it very reliably uh, one thing that you can do is you know just put your fingers under there and I mean, there is a little bit of residue, but this is a dry, powdery uh, residue, uh, which is really just, um, it's just the rubber belt um, slowly disintegrating over time. Um, sometimes if that builds up, the dust itself could uh, function as a lubricant. I mean, they do have uh, graphite lubricant that does that for certain things. Uh, but for the most part, that is not the issue. Um, another issue that causes squealing when you have belts is if they're loose. Um, these require a certain amount of tension to, uh, to, to keep a good grip because if you think about it, if you look at, like, say, this, this pulley here, the belt is only in contact with the pulley for about maybe, maybe a quarter a quarter of its, of its uh, circumference. So that means that there's only this much contact patch on that pulley that is driving it so if it's loose then you actually end up with slightly less and it needs that contact patch to drive it and of course if you uh, exacerbate a loose belt with um, with any kind of contamination then that just makes the slip even worse um, rule of thumb that I've seen is you know for for these um, flat belts if you can deflect it you know moderate pressure uh, less than a quarter inch is acceptable um, the longer the span the the more flex you can get out of it now this is this is about eight inches and I can flex it you know just this way about about a quarter inch uh, longer span you can expect more stretch um, like this. This is about 12 inches span, and I can push it down yeah, almost a half an inch, I would think. Um, just again, moderate pressure um, to you know for for proper. Because if you go too hard, um, like like in this case, we can show you um, this is the adjustment for the um, the belt, and the way that this this adjusts is by lifting the alternator pulling the alternator up and that would increase the tension on the belt so um, you loosen this bolt here and and this bolt under here is in the shadow and you tighten this and that that pulls this up increasing the tension but if you put too much tension on it um, again you, you you run you know you need a certain amount of tension but like if this thing was rock hard couldn't deflect it at all then what's going to happen is you what you're actually doing is putting excess strain on the bearings for like in this case uh power steering pump and the alternator the bearing would be constantly pushing in this direction 
and if it's wet, if it's too much, it, it'll wear out prematurely, and then uh, you'll have a bearing failure. Um, last uh, last thing that um, can cause squealing sounds uh, under under the hood. If you notice that it happens when the AC engages, you turn on the air conditioner. Now, if you look at this, you see this small gap here in between this plate and the pulley. <clears throat> this is an electromagnetic clutch that is engaged by this wire here in the relay in the relay box. And when the AC engages, it attracts this plate to the pulley and it clamps shut. And if there is too much clearance here, when this place when this plate closes, it might not close with enough force to drive the compressor because like this you can see I can turn this manually this is the compressor and the pulley turns with the engine and the compressor only turns when this is engaged electromagnetically if this is uh, too loose you could get squealing probably even get smoke and spark coming out of it depending on how bad it is <clears throat> if there's a problem in the compressor itself and this can't turn at all like right now I mean I can I can freewheel this no problem but if there was a problem in the compressor like it seized up or excess pressure in the system or something like that um, it might not be able to turn and either this would slip or the belt would slip and you'd end up with a squealing sound um, on some vehicles there is a uh, there's a detection there's a sensor, there's a speed sensor in the, uh, in the air conditioning compressor so that if it detects that the compressor is not spinning, it'll shut the air conditioning off to protect the engine because if this belt is driving anything other than the air conditioning compressor, uh, let's say on some vehicles, a water pump or an alternator or power steering, if you burn up this belt, you could knock everything else out. Um, in this case, Probably not because it's uh, it's the only belt. It's only dedicated to this. Um, more often, I've seen it on vehicles that have a single serpentine belt that covers every every system. And so, if you end up with a squealing sound, again, uh, first thing to check is uh, check belt tension. Make sure that it should deflect about you know about a quarter inch per foot of of span. Uh, no more because then too loose would be slipping uh, no less because then you have possibility of damaging the bearings and then again uh, check under the belt to see uh, what is in it if it's oily or wet um, you might need to do some cleaning you might need to uh, replace a seal to prevent further uh, contamination and then finally um, AC clutch if, uh, if it's loose or it's worn um, it might slip when it's engaged and uh, so I hope that uh, I hope that helps out um, to figuring out uh, squealing noises under under the hood of your car and um, come back another day with uh, some more some more more auto tips have a good day